Yeah, well, Ronnie, it's Mickey. Yeah, I thought I'd do a little quick little video clip. Yeah, of everything that I've been doing this year and that. Yeah, so my greenhouse here. I've got five pottage going in here and that. Yeah, my caskets there, they're red, which will turn to a yellow. And I've got a small strawberry one there. And that one there is the red one. There. Yeah, I've had a few off there already, off that one. Yeah, that's my pottage set up there along there and that and I put the nutrients into there and that there yeah and the nutrients on here is is this one here yeah they'll get from my um, hospital store yeah and I got a few other little plants that down along here and that yeah what I'm going to be doing I'll be changing that there over to this container here and that yeah, so I'll be changing them over and that. So next year it'll be only that one there and there, and I'll take that one there out and that. Yeah, then we we'll go out here to my aquaponics. Yeah, this is my aquaponics set up here for fish tank, the IBC tank here. Yeah, I've got silver perch in there and that. Run over here. Is my spell filter? It runs up long for this bed, and then goes long to that bed. There yeah, they fill up and flood through into the sub tank here. Then it pumps from there back up into here, and does exactly the same thing. It cycles around through again for the beds and everything. And then, then over here, I have a veggie garden. Yeah, there was a veg garden here and that's so how I took that apart and built myself another veg garden here so the soil net were over there this is now put into here this bed here that I moved from there to here and I used a tin there as well and I built that one there yeah so I did you know when it wasn't so hot here yeah right to cool down and I've done it and then I built this one here as well, the exact same thing. I wait for the weather to cool down because it's pretty hot here, and that, yeah. So, I built this long one here so I can grow more veggies and other bits and pieces in there. Which I had one here, which was those two there, where one was there, and another one was around about there. And I had that bed there, so, so I'll take them out and make one whole long bed down through here, and that there, yeah. And in here, I've got another veggie garden as well. Yeah, I've got corn growing in here. Yeah, this one's just because I want to grow any like watermelon or rock melon or pumpkin like that, I can put into this bed here. So it gives them more room. Then I don't have to put into these beds here. And now I can grow my other stuff into these beds. And this is my grapevine here, which is a seedless grape. And this is another rigid bed which got tomatoes in it which is the yellow ones yeah once they're finishing that I'll be moving this bed over to the other side there and then over here I got my um, capsicums in here and strawberries yeah they seem to be doing alright so far in here from the heat and all that put shake cloth over top That's my spring onions there. And that's my dwarf peach there. And that there is a new compost bin because I had one up over there which I took apart so I put my bed in there. So I built this one and everything was over in the other one. Went into this one which filled it up to about here. Now it's dropped down to about here. Yeah. So hopefully by this year or say next year that should be all rotten down and turned to soil and that and, and I can use it to the beds for next year and in here I've got another tomato growing here as well which is this one here yeah they got for my um local store and that and that one there is another tomato roll which is that one there 
Yeah, I took the tomatoes off it yesterday. Harvest them, yeah, they're quite nice. Yeah, so I plan on getting these ones here away to somebody who wants them and that, because I don't need them anymore. Because I've got these two long ones here, and that sort of thing. Yeah. So I did a quick little tour of my um, backyard and that sort of thing, what I've been doing and all that sort of thing. Yeah, so that kept me busy for next year and that, when I grow some more veggies and that sort of thing. And these beds here, I'll add some more stuff to it, to these beds here. And this one here as well. Yeah, and my compost bin there as well. That's full already. Yeah, there's all my compost stuff in there. Put all my food scraps and that in there, and leaves and cardboard and newspaper and that. Yeah, I shred it all up, all the newspaper and that, and I put in there. And coffee grounds go in there as well. Yeah, and I put some coffee grounds in here, and, and I go down to the beach and get some seed weed, and I dry that and wash it all out, and I put that in there as well, let it break down. Yeah. This is my greenhouse here. That I built this year. Yeah, the bits and pieces that I had. Yeah, so that's a tour of my backyard and bits and pieces that I've been doing this year. Yeah. So if you want to hit the subscribe button or notification bell when I upload another video clip, might be next year. And that when I'm doing, you know, my aquaponics or my garden or my hodgepodge and that. Yeah. I'd like to say Merry Christmas to everyone and Happy New Year and all that to my subscribers and everyone that's out there. Yeah, and I hope to see you there or next year. Alright then, we'll see you next time then.